it's an amazing epidemic that swept the country. Where are they getting these? Uh, they're buying them from the vape stores. All right. They're walking right in? They're walking right in. Vape stores. George Davison runs the Grace Church School in New York. And like so many educators across the country, he's at the red hot center of the vaping crisis. And it went from zero to a huge portion of the kids in a very, very short period of time. Davison's turn to a high tech solution vape detectors. Installed in bathrooms and locker rooms, they can pick out the signature odor of e-cigarettes. Davison and his staff showed us what happens when a detector goes off. The security guards down at the front desk, the head of the high school, the head of technology in this building, and I get a text every time one of the detector goes off. The security guard runs the video back on that camera and logs in who just went into the bathroom. What happens to me if I'm caught? If you're the first time you're caught, you're suspended from school. But a second time is potentially an expulsion. Really? Mm -hmm. Two times? Yeah. We want them to know that this is a very serious health problem. started off as an intern project, and the first thought for the device was actually to detect if students are being bullied. And then in doing that, schools also asked if we can actually help them with their vaping problem. And so we went ahead and started designing sensors to detect if kids are vaping in locations where you can't put cameras or microphones. That's typically a bathroom or a locker room. So at, at this station right now, we're doing a through-hole assembly where the boards are being designed. So we're actually putting components on, and components that actually go through the board to the other side, so we're actually soldering those in real time right now. We have an LED sensor, or LED light, that allows the installer to know the different stages of the device. We actually, actually here in here, we have a gas sensor that's actually collecting the emissions in the air, and then here we have a decibel level sensor that's monitoring overall sound quality in a given location. Once the device is installed, the device actually goes ahead and monitors overall air quality. And looking at air quality, we define what we call signatures in the air. So we're looking at various VOCs, volatile organic compounds. And as we see these different compounds in the air, we're defining what we define as a vaping signature. So in the earlier days, when the kids had the old-fashioned e-cigarettes or vaping mods, they would call it, usually you'll see a bigger vaping cloud that would, per se, that would come out. And now with the advent of the juuling device, the devices like that, a small form factor, kids are actually able to vape, and you may or may not see the vape visible to the eyes. <laughs> 